Hello, this is Amber from Ambie Marie Knits. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to talk about the things I've been making. It is all knitting this week. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as Ambie Marie Knits. I don't have any finished objects this week, uh, but that's okay. I'm so proud of the progress of the things I have done. Um, we're going to go ahead and just jump right into my whips. First one that I put the most work in, and I swear, I'm really gonna remember to start trying to put in progress keepers. I'm not good at that, I've noticed. But I just have the border left on my brioche mode shawl by Sosu Knits. It's a mystery shawl. Um, last clue was last week, so I am wanted it done by today, but that's okay. Um, once I get the border done, I'll be happy. Yarn is dyed by me, there's four different colors. Oh yes, this was the start, so here was clue one. Clue two, um, I don't know where cl clue three was, clue four, and clue five. So I can't get the whole thing in there, but it's definitely really awesome. Um, yeah, I gotta weave in my ends. Um, all I have left to do is I have to pick up all the way around. I think I knit a couple rows of something or another, and then I get to do an I-cord bind off, which I don't usually mind. I don't remember the exact number the pattern says, but I think it's like 900 stitches. That'll be fun, but it'll be worth it. Have it done. I am hoping it blocks out a little bit wider. Like, it's definitely long enough, uh, but as far as, I don't know, I tend to wear my shawls granny, and it just doesn't come down very far. But I think blocking will fix that. So that's my first work in progress. Next up is going to be my Grannies in a Row socks. And these are actually in a new acquisition that I will tell you more about later. But I got a new bag. We're going to save that for acquisition. So. so the Grannies in a Row socks. I guess I've got a hoe. So I got a half object. Just needs the ends woven in. I don't have it on a, a blocker yet. Next week. But look how awesome the granny squares are. Uh, yarn on this is Pretty Twisted Yarns, Be a Freaking Unicorn, and then the Neon Yellow Mini Dyed by Me. So that one's done. This one, oh, got that much. And just a little bit on the leg. But these should be finished up this week. I'm excited to get those done. And then my next work in progress is actually a new cast on. So you know how last week I said, oh, I want to cast on something new, but I didn't know what it would be. Well, I figured out what it was. It's a summer sorrel. So bag, stitching plaza, Lisa Frank, all the way. Hmm, pretty twisted yarns pin, don't know where I got that at. So I haven't actually wound all the yarn for this. I'm gonna do that today because I'm almost ready to start fading. So here's color one. Oh, never organized, it's fine. So here's color one. That's the wrong side because that's just the way life works sometimes. There we go. There, now you can see the stitches. There's the cool pattern that the summer sorrel or all the sorrels have on it. Um, this color is Fangirl Fibers. It is a one of a kind. So it didn't have a name or anything. But it is going to fade very well with this pretty color from Buxom Cat Knits. Um, also does not have a name, but that's okay. Hold them all together here. And then the last color is Hot Knit Yarn. And their birthday 2021. So... See how that fade's gonna go. I think it's gonna be pretty good. I'm like two ways a row, two rows away, I could talk, um, for fading in this color. So goals for this afternoon are winding up both of these skeins, um, starting the fade on that, and then picking up all the stitches on the brioche mode. Um, those are the things that I would like to get done. So that's everything I'm currently been working on. Um, next up, we've got acquisitions, happy mail, future projects, and 
I did tell y'all last time if I made it to 100 subscribers, I do a giveaway. So that is planned as well because we're at 109 as of this morning. But we're going to go into the acquisitions and Happy Mail next. So, like I said, new bag, happy little yarn. There's your, there's your tag. It's amazing. It's neon. It stitches. And it's so good. Drawstring, which is probably my favorite. I don't mind zipper for some things, but the yarn gets caught in them too easy. So drawstring is definitely my favorite. I do believe this is the small size, which is perfect for socks. There's plenty of room in there. Next up on acquisitions, I've got some interesting ones. So um, one I bought, this is self title on the Hemlock Falls sock set. This is Hearing Color Dye Works. Um, this was from the Naughty Nitrous yarn store um, that Andy the Nitrous has. Her husband Bobby is the one that dyes it. And look at it. Just look at the speckles. Just more, so many. So, don't know when I'm going to knit this, but I wanted it, so I have it now. Then next up, um, that's the only thing I bought. But I did do a swap. I'm in the Love and Stitches membership, and we did a sock yarn swap. And this is what I got from that. Some stress knits in dried lavender. A little mini. So that'll make a cute little pair of socks. And then, my next one's really, really cool. So this one is both Happy Mail, Acquisitions, and Future Knitting. So my granny's in a row of socks. Make that. Well, my friend Nicole, who is witching underscore knitting underscore mama on Instagram, really wants a pair of them in Halloween colors. And I don't think she really knits a lot of socks. So I decided why not? They were fun. So she sent me some yarn so I can make them for her. And it's very cool. Oh, where are the te tags on the bag? Haha. -ha. So this is Boo by Lollipop Yarns. Look at this. See, there's got the like speckly variegated there, different colors, and then the bright orange mini. Um, so it's seven rows great pumpkin, three rows slime, seven rows vampire, all surrounded by five rows zombie. The mini me is great pumpkin, mini right there. So this is going to get turned into a pair of grannies and a row socks since I had a shine. I'm excited to see what those look like. And because she's awesome, she sent me some yarn. And the little note in there was the cutest thing. It said, how knitters say thank you. She gave me some yarn. So very excited about these. So this is Swamp Single called the Zed Zone. This is from Swamp, Swamp Bunny Fibers. And it's a single ply. I have not knit with a finger and weight single ply yet. I'm going to eventually, just, I don't know what yet. Probably something brioche. I'm just waiting until I find the perfect project and the perfect yarn. So this is gonna be something beautiful. And then also she gave me this. So this is Sprinkled Fibers, which we all know, love bright. So look at all those colors and speckles. Um, I don't think it's got a name on it, but look at this Progress Keeper. It's a cake pop got a bite on it it's got sprinkles on it how awesome is that so that's pretty cool um that is all of my acquisitions that I have um I'm gonna put links to shops of everything that I can in the down below so that way you can find those if there's something you want to see um happy little yarn for the bags right now I think it's just on Instagram but she's got an Etsy she's going to be starting soon I just don't think it's up and running yet. Um, so that's all the acquisitions. Next up, we have, we're going to do the giveaway. So what I have here is two skeins of good old Knit Crates yarn. This is Audine Wool's Interlock. It is, colorway name is Pigment. It's 34% cotton, 35% linen, 19% 19% lyocell and 11% nylon, 350 yards for 100 grams. There's the back of it. 
and two skeins. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you're making. Whatever. Just leave a comment below. Um, and then I will draw winners next Friday when I record. I do want to note, shipping's expensive. These will be for U.S. only. But if you're not in the U.S., please still comment. And if I pick you, uh, you will get a pattern. Like $10 or something like that. Um, and I will make sure you get a pattern of something that you're wanting to make. So, and this is really soft. Like the texture on it is amazing. And see how the shine is. And be a top. Or I don't know what else you make out of it. Probably a top. So, that's all the yarn stuff. Oh. Um, since this is June 30th, the last day of June, I wanted to go over my stats. Um, I got seven skeins of yarn in today, although this month, not today. I didn't buy all of them, but that's still how many I got in. Um, but I had nine go out. So that's kind of nifty. One second. So I had nine go out. I gave away a couple skeins and just from the various projects I've started this month. Um, three of them, of course, in the Summer Sorrel. Um, so that's not terrible. I also had five finished objects. Um, I finished my ripple crop, um, pair of socks, the sample brioche knots hat, DK scrappy socks, and a dishcloth. So not a lot, but that, that shawl is a lot. The brioche mode, there's a lot going on on that. And I am planning once that's done, trying to work on some of my other bigger projects because I still have my bluegrass shawl that I haven't touched in a while. And I also have the Bubble Cardigan by Stephen West that I barely worked on. And I really need to bring both of those out and try and make some progress. So we'll see what happens. So that's all the yarn stuff. Um, reading and watching. Reading, still on the same book from last week. Um, watching. I actually watched a movie okay, at home, but I don't usually do that. Um, I got My Best Friend's Girl from the library. That is an awesome movie. I love Dane Cook and I love Kate Hudson even more. So that was fun. And some of my weekend goals are also The Witcher Season 3 came out yesterday. So I'm going to try and see what I can do on getting to those five episodes we have this month. And I think it's the end of next month we get the next five episodes. So that is exciting. Uh, my garden. Garden's looking great. I'm going to put a video at the end. It's huge. So many tomatoes. I just need to hurry up and get ripe. So many tomatoes on there. And the cucumber I think I did a cucumber a couple years ago but it was in a pot like it didn't really do all that much putting it on a trellis was the best thing ever because it's just growing and growing up my fence one second but yeah it's been growing everywhere I'm like having to pull it onto my side of the fence so that's pretty awesome and oh one last fiber thing I forgot about um next weekend is fiber you um, it is a like fiber convention university thing that's uh, about eh, 45 minutes away from me. I am planning on going to that. I have a list of things I want to get. Um, there are two vendors I want to buy from and I want to look into maybe needle felting. I'm not sure. I haven't tried needle felting yet. I love my knitting. I love my yarn, but I kind of want to try that. So we'll see what happens there. I don't know. I probably won't have video of it next week because I'm probably not going to go till Saturday and I usually like to record on Friday so it may be the week after before I have stuff on it. But we'll see what I end up doing there. Well that is everything I have. Uh, please don't forget to leave a comment so you can be entered into that giveaway. Um, like, subscribe if you haven't. Ask your friends to subscribe. That'd be cool. And I do hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. Happy crafting!